What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and you are looking at the Christmas December 25th uh, Chad Blakely took this picture from Sweden. One of the national parks in Sweden. Gorgeous. Look at the Christmas colors here. You've got the green aurora and you've got the red. Totally gorgeous. Totally perfect for Christmas Eve. Hope you guys had a wonderful holiday if you were celebrating Christmas. If not, I hope you had a wonderful day instead. Either way, I hope you enjoy every day. Um, stuff like this, I wish we could see this. We're not far north or, or south enough to see anything like this, but that's just totally gorgeous. I will hope to see that live in my lifetime one time before I die. It's on my bucket list. It's probably on your bucket list, too, and I'm sure a lot of uh, space stuff is going to be on my bucket list as hopefully the technology keeps growing and growing and growing and we're able to uh, start maybe venturing out in there ourselves and uh, tasting it. So let's see here. This is also another good picture here. This is of uh, the space station going across the moon. See, this is the, this was taken here. Let me tell you a little about this one. This is Juan, Juan Gonzalez Alicia took this picture. It's of the ISS passing in front of the moon. It was an amazing sight since Venus was at its maximum brightness below the crescent moon. Venus was as great as brilliance on the evening of Friday, December 6th, but the planet will be at its maximum brightness. I was just talking about the brightness of it. Venus is gorgeous out there. I tell you what, everybody can see it down there in the skies. If you go out there, I've mistaked it for an aircraft so many times. It's that bright. Um, that's the space station, pretty neat, pretty gorgeous, and it uh, looks like the space station, they're going to be staying, they're not going to have to get bounce on out of there, good for them, uh, let's see, space station, this is from CBS, if you check the link below, you can check all this out, um, I couldn't get the pictures in really, really high definition, so either way, check those pictures out, those were just on space.com, I always put the links in my video, the description, so, space station, the new cooling system, powered up, fully functional, a replacement ammonia pump assembly installed aboard the ISS by two spacewalking astronauts was successfully powered up Tuesday evening in a major step towards restoring the partially disabled coolant loop to normal operation. The new pump is now considered fully functional, but it will take some time to fully reintegrate re the pump in the loop A to the loop to loop external cooling system, NASA said in a statement. Teams at Mission Control are following a schedule that should allow the restored cooling loop to be fully activated and integrated into the station's cooling system on Christmas Day. Coolant Loop A wanted to, use to dissipate the heat generated by the station's electronic systems. So this is very uh, important thing. This is kind of like the radiator <laughs> of the whole thing. I mean, and, uh, electronic systems get hot. So this cools them down. So it was partially shut down on December 11th when a flow control valve in an ammonia pump module malfunctioned, resulting in a lower than allowable temperatures, non-essential systems, and the station's forward modules had to be shut down, including many of the lab's research facilities. So basically what they did was they went to a very, uh, very <laughs> non-essential type thing. So they cut all the research, they cut everything to keep, but they're going to be, uh, it looks like they're on the uh, path up there. Pretty cool. Um, I'd always wanted to be an astronaut as a child. I tell you what, looking at that, I would amazing to be in a spacesuit doing that above the Earth. I, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine. If I got older, though, I'm a little bit more afraid of heights than I <laughs> thought it would be. But that's something on my bucket list too. I love to love to see the Aurora Borealis for sure in my lifetime, and I love to take a, a like a private ride into space. I'm gonna have to get on the making the money to do that because I don't have any Branson money. I tell you what, <laughs> much stuff, guys. What's up in the sky? 37. I really like I said I really hope you guys had a wonderful time. We're coming up on uh, New Year. I'm excited for the New Year. I'm excited with what we're gonna do with What's Up in the Sky. I haven't decided yet. We're gonna be keep always always doing anomaly videos, doing stuff like this. Um, I want to try and take it to another level somehow. You know, we got to keep pushing the boundaries. We got it. 2014 has to be our year. We got to get the whole disclosure. It's not coming from. It's not going to come from the top. So we have to combat somehow or somehow break into the mainstream paradigm. And I don't know how I'm going to do it yet or how we're going to do it yet. We're all going to do it. It's got to be a combination of a lot of us that uh, get it, a, a little momentum going behind it. Um, so I'm thinking about, you know, like I said, what can be done. If you guys have any, uh, you know, any suggestions for what you want to see on this channel or what uh, you want to see some of my friends on this channel, you know, we've got a lot of friends that are doing stuff. Chris and Chris are doing videos, uh, the Olympus Sky and Mars Anomalies, my buddies there. We're going to do maybe some like uh, uh, 
where we get on here and do meetups where we allow people to come here and talk and stuff like that. Like, you know how they've got these, these, uh, meetup groups and stuff inside YouTube. I don't know how it works. I've never actually done it before, but I see people doing it all the time. I meetups, probably hangouts. That's the word I'm looking for. Meetups. Um, meetups. Cool. That's meetup.com. I'm thinking, oh, that's cool. I went back when I was doing all my Ron Paul stuff. I used to, uh, get on there and meet a bunch of people that like Ron Paul, but either way, much love, guys. Hope you had a good holiday. And like I said, if you weren't doing a holiday, hope you had a good time. Much love. Peace.